Hello everybody, welcome to day 257 of quarantine. Today we're going to be doing some much needed art, some art therapy if you will. I've had this ukulele for a really long time and I've since gotten uh, a new ukulele. It, um, the new one is a lot better. This one, it could never really hold its tune that well. Like it's, it's not tuned right now. But it even just kind of, it just sounds bad. I know it's not tuned, but it never could hold its tune well. And it's not because the strings, the strings are not new. They don't need to be broken in. So I'm not exactly sure why it doesn't hold its tune that well. But the point is, I don't use this ukulele anymore. And I drew on it a long time ago. I drew like this weird flower. But since I don't use it, I figure, why don't we just hang it up as a decoration? And it's not that extravagant right now. So I was thinking maybe we paint it. The thing is finding something interesting to paint on it though. There's so many different um, aesthetics that we could go for. It's gonna be put in my room. My room doesn't really have an aesthetic, I don't think. I don't think it's that my room doesn't have an aesthetic. I think it's that it has too many. <laughs> One that I think would be really cool for this is Vaporwave. This actually might be cool to put on the um, the fretboard of this ukulele, something like that. I think we should do that. That might be kind of sick. And I also like this sun, the sun with like these bars in it. I think that might be cool. We could do something, something like that. I think I'm gonna paint whatever design like this way. So like this. This is the top, this is the bottom, because I'm not gonna dis I don't think I'm gonna display it like this. I think I'll display it like hanging on the wall like this. But we'll see, we'll see. I kind of like these mountains too. I really like the mountains and the sunset. So let's do some vaporwave uh, mountains. I forgot how to spell mountains all of a sudden. See, do I want do I want mountains like this or do I want mountains like this? Hmm. I think we're going to do more realistic mountains. So let's let's get a few different reference images. And let's do a sunset as well. And if we're doing purple kind of mountains and a pink, yellowy, orange sunset, I think we're going to need to do like a blue, a dark blue sky. I think that might be a good idea. All right, this looks like a pretty good, some pretty good reference images. <laughs> let's print this out and we'll get started with some painting. Thought I wasn't recording for a second, I was had a heart attack. So I was gonna do this project at my desk, but I really don't think that I have room at my desk because of my computer and I just got a second monitor, so I definitely don't have room at my desk. And I also don't really wanna have paint around my keyboard because I don't really trust myself not to get paint on my keyboard. So we have this office in my house that nobody uses. So I'm going to turn it into my art workspace from now on, but we have to clean it up first because it's a mess. All right, welcome to my new art studio. The only thing I hate about this is that this wall is very boring. So I'm gonna put my lovely tapestry up. I almost hit myself, I did hit myself in the face. There, that feels a bit more homey. All right, so we also have this camera over here that's going to be recording my ukulele in the process. Um, of making it. Also, this camera that I have set up over here recording the ukulele, like the actual what I'm doing, it's not a very new camera and for some reason it only records for 12 minutes and then it just stops. So if you hear an alarm going off from my phone at any point during this video, it's just telling me to reset this camera to press the record button again because it will stop on me without giving me any notice. So anyway, first thing I think we're gonna do is take off these strings because uh, it's gonna be really difficult to paint with the strings on. All right, so next we're gonna take some sandpaper and we're just gonna sand it down a little bit just so the paint sticks a bit better to the wood because uh, this does have a little bit of a varnish on it. And so we can try and get off some of this Sharpie. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna paint a really nice kind of gradient background. Of my references, we're going to be using this image right here because I really like the background on this and I think it's it really stands out nice with the color of the sun. All right, let's take a look at what colors we have to work with. So this is kind of like a dark blue and purpley kind of sky. I'm gonna be using a bunch of different brands of acrylic paint. So I have um, Deco Art Crafters acrylic paint, that's what I'm gonna be using. Artist's Loft paint that I really like. Liquitex Basics acrylic, um, acrylic paint. All right, let's start off with our light color. So we're gonna get some 
uh, Deco Art Lavender, Deco Art African Violet, Deco Art Peacock Blue. I'm starting off with some lavender because uh, we're going to be kind of making like a gradient. So this bottom part actually isn't going to be shown because there's going to be uh, the mountains on it. But let's just start off with our lightest color of purple. And when you're doing a gradient, it doesn't have to be, uh, the line where you stop doing one color doesn't have to be perfect because you're gonna be blending them together. Now we're gonna take some of this Deco Art Peacock Blue and put it at the top part of the ukulele. And I'm also going to paint the sides at the end, I believe, just to complete this look that we're going for. not sure if I want to paint the fretboard anymore. I might not want to. I kind of like the way that this is looking already without the fretboard being painted. I'm definitely gonna paint this um, this top part just so it matches nicer. All right, it's been a hot sec. This hasn't dried completely, but we're gonna keep going because I'm impatient. I mean, I'm trying to be more patient, but I really am enjoying doing this, so I wanna get it done. And instead of the makeup sponges, I decided I'm just going to be using a clean, flat brush to blend the colors together, just because I didn't like that bubbly kind of pattern that um, the sponges were giving it. It's looking pretty good. It's a lot more opaque now, which is really nice. Um, so while it's dry, I think we might start painting. Oh, that is my alarm. While it's drying, I think we might start painting the sides just to get that kind of underway. I'm just gonna let that side dry and then we're gonna start doing the other side. All right, so now I'm going to be painting the other side um, of this with the dark blue. I decided to just paint the top part, the dark blue, dark blue with some stars. It might be a little bit difficult to do the gradient up here. And I think this, just the blue and the stars would look, a little, look pretty nice. Time to let it dry again. So I finished painting the sides and this top bit over here. So the next thing we're actually gonna be doing is the sun. And I'm just going to be painting a white circle first because the colors on the base are so different from the colors that we're gonna be using from the sun. So we wanna kind of start out with a clean slate. First, I'm just going to sketch out where the cir circle's gonna be with a pencil. looking so cool. I already love it so much, even if even though it's just white. A little longer than a few minutes later. Welcome to day two of this ukulele painting process. It got a little bit too dark to keep filming the video yesterday because it kind of looked weird with just the studio lighting, which reminds me now 
my studio light isn't even on. So I did the second coat of the white on this circle and I also just made a border of um, painter's tape around here because we're going to start painting the sun and we're going to be doing like a gradient which I don't think I will be able to do without it being a little bit messy. So I'm going to be using some nice uh, lemon yellow and I made this kind of like corally colored mix. It's just using some light pink, some orange, and a little bit of red, and I think it looks really nice. Okay, now I'm taking a fan brush and I'm just painting on, just doing big strokes, trying to blend these colors together. Dude, I love this so much. It already looks so cool against the purple and blue background. So while the sun is drying, uh, I'm not gonna do another coat on it because I don't think that it needs it. While that's drying, I'm gonna flip this around and I'm gonna use some white and using a Q-tip, I'm just gonna dot some little white dots on here and kind of make them look like stars. So now this is almost dry and I'm just gonna take the tape off and I and this is going to be highly satisfying, obviously. Wow, look at that, so nice. There's a little bit of cleaning up to do. But other than that, I'm happy that the tape isn't ripping off the acrylic paint, which I was a little bit worried about. Now using a pencil, I'm just going to sketch out some mountains where I, about where I want them to be. So instead of purple, I am actually deciding to paint the mountains dark blue and turquoise, uh, just cause I think there's already enough purple on the background. So I'm gonna start by painting the mountains dark blue. This next part with the shadows and the highlights on the mountain, I'm just going to kind of ad lib a little bit, which I usually wouldn't recommend, but I think it'll look a lot nicer because mountains aren't perfect. They're like natural pieces of rock. So I think this might look a little better if I don't totally plan this out. So we want the lighter parts to be closer to the top because this light source, the sun is obviously above the mountains right now. Um, so you want the lighter bits of the mountain to be at the top part. And I'm kind of just blending this, making this look like it has some um, some brush strokes in it, giving it a little bit of um, a little bit of texture to kind of make it look um, more like light because when you're looking at mountains from as far away as this is, I know it's kind of like abstract, but the light isn't just gonna stop. It's gonna kind of fade out. Uh, so you kind of want to look at it in that kind of, in that way, if that makes any sense. So I think that this is all done. I'm not gonna add any stars to the main part of the ukulele just because I don't think it needs it. I added them up here because I didn't want that just to be like blank and blue, um, but I really don't think it needs it here. I really like the simplicity of just the, the blocky colors. So this is the final product. I had a really great time making this. 
Um, I haven't painted an instrument before, so uh, this was a first and it was a, a lot of fun. I really like the design that I chose. I think it, um, it looks really cool and I can't wait to like, you know, put it up on a shelf and display it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had a great time making this, like I said before. Um, and hopefully I can do more of these um, painting videos in the future because they're really fun and I really like doing time lapse stuff because I, I enjoy watching it and I hope that other people do as well. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video um, and if you want to see more of my face you can subscribe to my channel. I put out a new video uh, every Friday. Alright, thank you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye bye.